is a Fox 17 winter weather alert. Here we go, everybody. 544 on a Saturday morning. It is January 11th, and we're beginning the day very, very wet. We've gotten over an inch of rain in Grand Rapids. When I drove into work about uh, 1.30 this morning, it was coming down uh, pretty tough. And uh, now we've got the rain and wind beginning to pick up as well. The tower came in Grand Rapids. You really can't see much from just uh, checking that out. But uh, the visibilities have improved. That's some good news. Got really foggy there uh, mid to late afternoon into the evening yesterday. Let's begin with the graphic. This is the most important thing everybody wants to know about how much ice, how much snow are we anticipating uh, from my vantage point of the models over the past 24 hours. It seems like the ice amounts have decreased. The snow amounts perhaps are on the increase on the tail end of this system. However, there will still be some ice around. That's a guarantee and uh, this system is going to be significant from start to finish. Uh, thinking about a quarter of an inch, perhaps as much as three uh, as a third or maybe even a half uh, an inch of ice. We'll see how this plays out, folks, but uh, I would tend to think more towards the quarter of an inch and then shifting over to snow uh, between about 7 and 10 o'clock this evening. And we could pick up a solid 2 to 4 inches. And there are some indications this morning that that band of 4 to 7 is slipping a little bit further southward. So I did drop that southward just a bit as this system tracking a little bit further to the south and east than noted a couple days ago. And that does have implications on precipitation type. Bottom Bottom line is, is that we're going to switch over to some ice uh, around 9, 10 o'clock this morning in Grand Rapids, or at least freezing rain. It's going to take a while for the uh, road surfaces to become treacherous, though, as they are very warm now. The ground from the past couple days, so uh, I think this afternoon into this evening, that'll be the time frame where things will become mo most dangerous on the roadways. Temperatures around the Midwest, it does get markedly colder uh, once you get into Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota. We got single digits there, and then uh, minus 20s below zero in the northern third of Minnesota and North Dakota. We're not getting into Arctic air, though. That's some good news, really running on through the next seven days. Winds have turned to the north and northeast for most of us, or at least along the I-96 corridor. Still out of the south, though, at last check, at least, Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. So this cold front is working southward with time. Rain still coming down at 8 a.m. We're going to get closer to that 32-degree marker, and once it hits 32, that's when you can classify it as a uh, freezing rain, but again, the surfaces won't start to become icy, at least the roads or the pavement, probably uh, until a few hours after that or something on that order. There will be a lag effect. However, the car tops will begin to accrue some ice. I do think uh, late morning, noontime, and especially thereafter. Winds out of the northeast. This is off the chart later this evening. Even this afternoon, it's going to be very blustery all day long, gusting into the 30s and perhaps even the lower half of the 40s. So it'll be a windy Saturday. That's for sure. The winds will come down now through the day on Sunday. Rain develops or rain has already developed. It'll switch to a wintry mixture mid to late morning and then this wintry mixture, meaning uh, the freezing rain and sleet, will turn to snow mid to late evening and anticipating about two to four inches, perhaps more. we got to keep a close eye on when that change over time does occur as the system lifts northward and it is over Arkansas, southern Missouri right now. The surface low, that'll be pulling northward. It's got a lot of moisture just uh, plowing into West Michigan ever since yesterday evening. So a lot of rain has come down and check out the echoes on the live radar. That's pretty significant, especially I-94 and southward. Here's the model starting at 6 a.m. RPM model and the colder air is dropping southward. I've been talking about this the last couple days. Shallow cold air mass moving from north to south, meeting up with the precipitation. And uh, there you can see we've got that uh, pink color showing you where the freezing rain and or sleet will be into the afternoon and it just kind of plasters itself over the heart of the viewing area. So there will be a prolonged period of some icing, probably a lighter brand of freezing rain and sleet. It won't be as heavy as the rain that we've seen in the overnight, but over that extended period of time, you can see why we're expecting about a quarter of an inch, maybe a third of an inch or so of ice. It'll shift to snow mid to late evening, the ballpark of seven to 10 o'clock here in GR. We'll see how that works out, but the earlier it does, uh, the, the more snow we will get right now again two to four or so and then temperatures really not bad the next several days we do climb back into the low 40s I think Tuesday and Wednesday.